let's use satchel to destroy the bunker run <laughs> that was awesome hello there folks Hatman here and today we're playing company of heroes 3 italian campaign the only reason we did not play italian campaign before was because it was buggy i know there are a lot of problems when the game came out it w wasn't ready to play and i settled down with north african operation just because uh, it was uh prone to less damage right uh, i was just waiting for the game to to get patched to get uh some of the issues solved maybe not everything is perfect still but i think it's in a playable condition so let's get started i'm really excited i've never played it before we're gonna play on uh hard difficulty because previously we played campaign on normal or standard difficulty and ai didn't really give much of a challenge so let's start with this one hmm oh New campaign, not load. <laughs> Let's get ourselves familiar with the story and everything that will ensue from that. Dear Maggie, it's been a while, I know. Sorry, I've never been as good with words as you. I just finished up five months in North Africa. Didn't see a single German all the while I was there. We were training mostly, lots of marching up and down, cleaning boots, and getting yelled at. Reminded me of Fort Riley. No one knew where we were gonna end up, of course, just that we needed to be ready. One of the Brits, Roy, got me some chocolate, we'd be heading to Italy. General Buckram arrived a couple weeks back. Seems like a decent guy. Very confident, I guess you'd call it. He doesn't like the Brit General Norton, though. They're like oil and water. Buckram's mood got worse every time he talked to him, and we bore the brunt of it. Nearly wore my fingers to the bone cleaning my damn rifle. Roy got his chocolate a couple weeks back. We're off to Sicily. I was glad to be away from the heat. Not so glad to be wandering around the Mediterranean hoping the German subs wouldn't find us. We all breathed a sigh of relief when they announced we were finally headed to dry land. Captain McKay's here. Gives me some confidence that at least one person knows what he's doing. Well, I guess it's nearly time to leave, so I'd better go find somewhere to sit. I'll try to write more. If I can. Love always. Joe. Is this Gala? Move, move, move! All right, we've got to clear this beach before the rest of the troops can come ashore. We've got support on our flanks, but we need to take out those guns or they'll tear our ships apart. Godspeed, men! Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, we <laughs> we don't have that Sherman anymore. Uh, this infantry unit is pinned. pinned down by that HMG. Pull them out of there now. Okay, let's go back, I guess. Those defenses are tougher than they look. Hmm. Guastori, our Italian friends from uh, North African campaign. A Grenadier squad. Okay. Uh, we should... What do we have? We have three units. Um, riflemen. Your old-fashioned G.A. Joes. Uh, let's try to use frag on these guys. Pineapple, move back. Oh, we have engineers. Come here. They have a flamethrower. I think we're gonna load on the left flank just because the right one uh, is uh, covered with bunkers and everything. So uh, let's try to focus on that one. Engineers, uh, you get behind the rock. Riflemen will go to the left. 
that's good. Can we take cover here? I'm afraid that we're gonna take aggro from that machine gun. So we're just gonna, as I said, load on that flank. Oh yeah. Let's move, let's move. Move these guys. As long as the machine gun is, is fixed in this position, we can, we don't have to use a grenade. As long as they don't really fire at us, we're good. Mm. Let's use satchel to destroy the bunker. Run! <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, should we take out that 88? Let's give it a try. Let's push. Let's push. Hopefully we're not gonna be in range of that unit with flamethrower. Burn. Can we go after them? Oh yeah. Throw it. Ah, that sucks. Move back. We're controlling the center, or somewhat in a better control of the center, but we are not doing an awesome job. Maybe we should, yeah, focus a little bit more on the left flank because it's probably easier to crack than the center. The good thing is that 88s are not paying attention to us for some reason. They're firing the ship at the ships or whatever is landing right now. Uh, can we destroy this? We need flame troopers. Burn him. That's good. Let's move. We gotta keep these guys in reserve, or they should fire from distance. They lost a lot of men. Huh. Why does it show there's no cover? I don't know, man. Burn them. Wow. Run. You lost some men to fire. Or explosion or whatever that was. Right, men. Now, the beach is secure and we have a headquarters. You'll need to push up into the town. Crowd forces are going to be dug in deep, so expect heavy resistance. The town square is the key. We capture that, and Jella's ours. Airborne troops are on the way. Jella. Things will get a bit easier when they get here. Try to stay in one piece until they arrive. The locals are doing what they can to fight back. Your main goal is the town square. All right. Good luck, men. Right. We've got a base of operations set up on the beach, but we still need to take the town and clear out the enemy forces. I know for some of you, this is your first time under fire. Just remember why we're here and you'll do fine. Interesting, a rifleman squad. Now the beach is secure. We've been able to bring in some new equipment. Time to put it to good use. We have M4A1 Sherman. Uh, we have some units here, but what should we do? 
Should we get scouts? What is the purpose of scouts? Well, I, I guess their purpose is to scout, but... <laughs> uh, let's get Bazooka. Some structures can heal or reinforce your troops. We know. We played competitive heroes before. Uh, I guess these are our landing craft or landing ships. I'm not sure what is the exact name. We're just waiting for Bazooka Man. Bazooka team. How many bazookas do they have? They have two bazookas. And probably this is M4 Garand, if I'm correct. Uh, there are some explosions in the distance, so... Jeez. What is... Is this munitions exploding? Uh, we can try to take this one, engineers. That's good. Uh, let's see, what is our goal? Hmm, need to capture the center. Infantry on the flanks. Engineers in the middle. So let's put push Sherman first to see if there's anything. Oh, actually these are our men. Airborne or no riflemen. Uh, let's support them. Guys, move. Please move. Move into the house. Bazooka team can go there. Engineers. Our airborne troops were blown off course and they've landed nearby. Let's go find them before the crowds do. How about you focus on these guys? Because those guys are very difficult to hit. Nah, we're not gonna waste our munitions on them. We did it. Maybe get out. Uh, we can take bazooka. Yeah, M9 bazooka. We can try to capture this uh, tank. Can move. Okay, we have our airborne troops. They're stuck in a house. They need support. Uh, go there. Get onto that Sherman, and we will move. Get going! Come on! Guastori, they're reduced to like three men. <laughs> Do not know why. Let's move. Do they have any any anti-tank weapons? I don't think so. Our Sherman can have a field day. Uh, can you take this one? Oh yeah. There is some... Um, what is the name of this one? Scout car. This has nothing to do with our Sherman. Thanks, Corporal. One more! Sure thought we were gonna miss out on all the fun. Fire. Oh, yeah. Now let's go find those that was easy. I guess we can convert this... Where are engineers? Can they build something? Really? Can you guys... We cannot build anything. Like, we cannot boost our... Economy, I guess. Sherry, can you please destroy those guys? Or... Wow. One shot, one kill. That was pretty amazing. 
Uh, let's push up the street. We're gonna get these guys out. And we can also get riflemen? Or what else do we have? Bazooka. Engineer squad. Bear troopers. They're so cool. Let's call them in. Mm, I'm not gonna risk them because I just want to see them. Move forward. Have some fun. <laughs> Bazooka? Light machine gun. With two bars. This is bar, I guess. Okay, we have some abilities. Are we getting them? Oh yeah, we are. I think they're the only anti-infantry unit we have. I love the looks, though. They're awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Stuka. It missed. That's good. Okay, our guys have uh, machine guns now. Uh, let's push. I'm not sure we should use artillery to be honest with this. Bazooka. Okay, we're in the open. Can we take this one? Let's come closer. Let's surprise this Quest Story squad. Uh, use this one. We want to take our airborne troops away from the enemy. Uh, you guys. Destroy them, and uh, you guys get out. Are they throwing grenades? Or no? Let's surprise them. Boom! Uh, I hope these guys do not have a flamethrower. I, I think they don't. That's good. Where? Okay, this one. And this one. Who is firing at us? Should we transfer the Sherman? Yeah, let's go. We have these guys. Go there. We're gonna fix that MG. This is a stone wall, so our troops should stay there. We wanna be careful not to activate that anti tank gun. Mm. Our engineers are okay. Paratroopers. They're being 
fucking fire the pawn. Let's push our troops. Uh, let's destroy that one. Oh, you guys run. We do not want to die in a friendly artillery strike. Jeez. Let's get closer. Move closer. Use hand grenades. They're taking so much fire. Uh, maybe try to cl clean this house and you get inside. Can we provide some cover fire? Oh, let's see how they do it. Move, move, move. Hit it. Come on. Excellent. Go after them. Perfect. They have nothing to deal with our Sherman. That AP was a bit scary, but I think we did a good job avoiding it. Uh, let's try to heal and we will also try to consolidate a bit. We need to heal our guys. Uh, In order to push for the center, we need to wait a little bit. I just want to make sure that our troops are well. Okay, bar as well. Let's see paratroopers. Is this like M1 or what, what weapons are they using? I'm curious they're not using Thompsons. I think in Company of Heroes 1, they were using Thompsons. Let's move. Interestingly enough, uh, paratroopers, they have uh, satchel charge, the same as engineers. Never played as an American before. I play as Brits in skirmish, in co-op, but I, I never played as an American. Come on, that means us. We're up, boy. Keep that formation tight. Weapons, we got our orders. Bazooka? Oh. Boys, the recruits in. Bazooka's in force. Pack those weapons. Well, Bazooka's in. Let's go. All right, boys. Uh, we should be pushing for the center. Uh, let's prepare. Maybe we can get our para, uh, paratroopers in that house. Uh, these guys can go here. And the rest, bazooka team and... What is happening? We're gonna push our Sherman down the street and just see what's there. I'm kind of afraid... There might be some anti-tank guns. Can we come closer? More infantry? Sniper? Oh, there's a tank. Let's try to kill those guys. That's good. Turn your rear. Ah, we missed it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. That's good. Oh, we have paratroopers. Help them out. Get those guys out. Uh, make sure they're perfect, tip top shape. And we're gonna push middle. We should also take that sniper. I guess it's here. Church tower. Oh, yeah. That's good. Uh, how about you fire there? We want to cover our troops on the ground. Excellent. You want I should carry you? Move out. Keep that thirty on the periphery. Let's move. They're healed enough. Now let's push our troops inside and push Sherman down the street. If we have to, we're gonna use artillery barrage. Oh, they're pinned down. Or not, but we're gonna pin them down. Maybe take this house? We're just gonna go house by house. Go after them? Haha. <laughs> Let's use this one. Poor Guastori. They're lovers, not fighters. Ah, uh, they're running away. Like, can our paratroopers open fire on them? Sherry, come on! Burn them. Yeah, they're taking a lot of fire right now. Can we take this one? Our engineers are burning them down. Heavy MG. Excellent. Take this one. Okay, there are some engineers. Destroying them comfortably. Uh, let's try to get into the church. Can these guys get bazooka? I don't think so. Maybe because we have. Uh, Machine guns? Probably. Let's do that. We are capturing the center. And it seems like there is no much opposition right now. But I'm afraid that we might see a counterattack. We did not take this or this. Troops into the square. 
What? What was that? There's still a long way to go before we take Sicily, but it's a good start. Well done. There was something really weird about that one. I don't know. And I guess this is the section when we see the grand campaign. We did it. We finally took Sicily. Roy said it took 38 days. And I'm not counting. I'm just grateful for the break. We lost a lot of good men. And if that wasn't enough, it looks like half the damn German army got away. They'll all be waiting for us on the mainland, no doubt. Although McKay says the Italians have had enough and surrendered. Some of them have even started trying to fight against the Germans. Not sure how effective they'll be. We'll see, I guess. We got word yesterday that the theater commander got kicked back to the U.S. and they're sending someone new. He's gonna have his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Buckram and Norton have been at each other's throats since we landed at Jayla. Roy's been taking bets on who's gonna get punched first. My money's on Norton. He's too arrogant to get us to Rome, if you ask me. Not that anyone does. McKay's got us prepping for the main op. He's still a hard ass, but if anyone can get us through this, it's him. The landing's supposed to be a tactical surprise, but everyone knows where we're headed. The Germans do too, I'd bet. Either way, that new commander's got us spread pretty thin. I hope he knows what he's doing. Okay. We're at Messina Harbor. This is uh, northeast Italy, Sicily. Unfortunately, our British allies have allowed the Krauts to retreat to the mainland. I think you'll find, General, that the British forces played their role to perfection. Perhaps you should look closer to home for the cause of the operation's shortcomings. Now listen here, Clarence. It was your insistence on operational prudence that got us into this situation. Commander, where General Buckram and I do agree is that we must follow the Germans and make our way to the Calabria region of Italy as soon as possible. We can zoom in. Zoom. Wow. I like the this. Are retreating north. We need to catch them, then hit them hard. Uh, yes, sir. Push north and secure Calabria. Our advance force is leaving for Calabria, sir. Haha. Uh -huh. Sir, we're sending an advance force to Calabria to lay the groundwork for the landings at Salerno and Taranto. The company will be under your direct command. Armor support? Hmm. Okay, companies are the primary controllable unit on the campaign map. They can move, attack, start battles, and use unique abilities. Understood. Right click. Oh, I just teleported there? <laughs> The men are doing the best they can, sir, but they'll need to rest before they can advance much further. Okay. Um, your company has traveled as far as... Okay, that's true. But see this? Platoons? Hmm. Medics. Skill level 2. Skills. Oh, here it is. Fuel drop. Hmm. Munitions, fuel, crusader, anti aircraft, medium thing. Recon artillery. Churchill, heavy. Designate targets. Okay, and black prince. Hmm. This one is really good. Oh, I just wanted to check something. Upgrades? Critical repair, fuel priority, vehicle logistics, air support, bolstered engineers, okay, forward based, one hand engineers, rapid vehicle deployment. 
units. Oh, we can unlock new units. Motor platoon. This is uh, bishop. Self-propelled artillery. This is probably 105 caliber. Hmm. Truck. Armored car. Light Stewart. Archer, Tank Destroyer, Churchill, Heavy, Sherman, Valentine, Mortar Team. Okay, so I guess we have to earn these guys through combat or some kind of point system. Let's end the turn here. The enemy left a supply emplacement up ahead. We need to take it out. Okay, how do we do that? Understood. Should we come close and then open fire? How? Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> is this like glitching or? Let's then turn here to see what happens. What? <laughs> okay, we can see that it's glitching. Capturing it will free the local Italian people and push the Germans back. Let's end turn. A company's action point can also be used to capture towns. Uh, each town provides a unique benefit. For example, ports allow you to purchase new companies and ships. They also increase population cap to field more units and provide manpower resources. Fuel and munition depots provide fuel or munition resources. Hospitals can heal companies. Okay. Let's take this one. Are we going to fight or... I guess no. Sir, capturing Tropia will allow us to bring more troops ashore to solidify our hold in Calabria. That should be our first priority. Commander, I appreciate Norton's love of ports, but I like to look at the bigger picture. Capturing Chittanova will keep the pressure on the Germans. We should head there first. We could get to Tropia later, Commander. Capturing Chittanova will let us keep handing the crowds. That's what we're here for. Maybe Tropia first? A wise decision, sir. Because I feel like it's a harbor, and in amphibious operation, you really need to have a harbor. Hmm. Loyalty. The decisions you make can affect how others perceive you. The following through on such decisions can also have a negative impact on your relationships. Um, left click on Royal Rewards to check your current standing with each of your sub commanders let's see not only affects their dialogue but also unlocks unique upgrades um losing their loyalty can disable these upgrades so be careful uh airborne reinforcements advanced landing fields anti-air su supports navigator mm hmm Amphibious operation. What is this? Oh, I guess these are the Italian partisans. Uh, local re relations, civilian intel, enigma. Hmm. I would kind of like to go uh, maybe with America. I think that it seems... Very interesting. Mm, 
I will I will go with maybe uh, American or British loyalty. We'll see. If we click here, uh, let's see if something happens. Let's try and take it. Commander, Chinonova is just sitting there, right for the taking. Commander, I appreciate Norton's love of ports, but I like to look at the bigger picture. Capturing Chitanova will keep the pressure on the Germans. We should head there first. Nah. We're gonna stay on the course. Are we gonna see any German actions or just our own? Is it defended? Are we gonna fight for it, or? This town won't be as easy to take as the last one. It's going to take some time to clean up whatever mess the Germans left for us and get it operational. Capture shields. Some towns have defenses that need to be removed before they can be captured. This is indicated by the shield icons above the town's names. Shields can be removed quickly, bombarding the town or attacking it with more than one company. We have naval support on the way, sir. They may be able to speed up our capture of Tropia. Okay, let's move there. Look, what is happening? <laughs> They're glitching, but I guess it's okay. okay. Oh, have to use naval bombardment. Should clear out any lingering German forces. We should now use our company to Command capture Tropia. But how? Armor's ready to go. We're fouled up. Engines chugging along. They can't move, seems like. We have to end the turn. Ready. How about Engine now? now bloody hitting. Right, we're we took it? We should put the port to use by requisitioning another company. Transport company. Transports or the garrison company to the targeted position or seaport. What is this? Shipyard repaired and transferred. Mana seaports. Ha. Huh. Should we get... Airborne company, or should we get U.S. Special Forces company? Hmm. I kind of like paratroopers more. Shipyard, nothing really. Takes multiple turns for companies to arrive. La okay, sure. Understood. Paris here. Give us We've do. got a new company on the way, sir. Once it arrives, we will be able to continue our advance. Not flogging a dead horse, but we're ready. Tropia is under Allied control, sir. Now we will be able to bring in more troops and ensure we have a firm grip on the region. Commander, now that we have Tropia, we must take Chittanova. All those supplies will be worthless if we let the crowds get away. Let's destroy this first. We got a mission, airborne. Pack up your gear, we're heading out. We gonna go there. Can you move? Nope. I don't think so. Can we get another company? Let's purchase another company. Let's end the turn.
We'll try to attack with paratroopers? Or... Hmm, I have no idea. Can we attack? Or... No? How do we do that? I guess we have no... Some of your companies have not moved or performed an action this turn. Maybe they think of this American company. How are you guys? And turn. Can we use it in support? We're needed, boys. Pay attention. Give it to a Genova is ours, Commander. That should keep the Germans moving. Are we gonna fight? No. Find an engaged German company. We reports a German company is trailing just north of Pizza, but we don't have their exact position. We need to find them before they can reinforce. The Germans are on the run, sir. We could go straight up the roads and hope we're faster, or we could transport a company from Tropia to get a head start. Right away, sir. You sports? Ready with the knives. Actually, it was better to use route. <laughs> Take it there. Yes, we're chugging and ready. We've got eyes on that enemy company, and they're looking Heads weak. Up, we need to hit them now. Let's see if your training took. Hmm. When attacking free roaming enemy companies, auto resolve is an alternative to playing a real time battle. Okay, we're gonna take about ten percent health damage. Auto resolve. Hmm. Auto resolve will simulate the battle uh, and its outcome by manually playing the skirmish. You may receive less damage. Yes. Hmm. Guess we exit. The Germans are still retreating, Commander, but they're weak. We'll find them again, and when we do, that'll be the end of them. That was easy. They did not really offer much There's of a challenge. A port up ahead, Commander. We should capture it and consolidate our forces before continuing our advance up the mainland. Where is it? Oh. Pay attention. Mm hmm. Let's move these guys. What cannot you move? We have to end the turn here. We only need one unit to hunt down that enemy company. Our other forces could do some good by securing those other towns. Understood. We'll send one company after the enemy troops and use the rest to liberate nearby towns. You can attack, maybe? There's some thick forest terrain up ahead. We can use that to conceal our advance or stick to the roads for the fastest travel. Hmm. How would you attack? And we're gonna use our infantry, our paratroopers, to move ahead? Let's go there. Does it matter, like, which company we're using? Munition Depot? We're holding it? Mm -hmm. 
this guy. You can move ahead. Should we bomb something? Yeah, I don't see a point right now. Enemy actions? No enemy actions. Then let's take it. Let's use our tank company. Let's confirm. Did we destroy the company? I think we did. Push airborne to the Catan. Oh. No. The men have spent significant time in enemy territory. Supplies are stretched thin. Capturing Catanzaro would expand our supply network, allowing our companies to move further and stay in enemy territory longer. I don't like this. <laughs> Understood. <clears throat> Companies lose supply every turn they spend in enemy territory. Low supply causes penalties to movement and auto resolve strength. Okay, we need to re retreat. I think our troops gonna take some fire from that bunker. Let's see what happens. No? Capturing towns with supply point? Icon will increase the maximum supply for all companies. Companies with higher supply can move further on their turn and spend more time in enemy territory. Taking supply points from the enemy will also decrease their maximum supply. Understood. Okay. We did that. Can you try to take it? Maybe. Sir, the Navy are moving in to support us in our efforts to capture Catanzaro. Naval bombardment. Not very accurate one. <laughs> I think. Let's push our special forces. We've recovered a cache of supplies that was apparently abandoned by the retreating forces. We're up, men. Stand by. End turn. Look alive. Get the combat. Take it. Will you? <laughs> Perfect. That's Captain Zero captured. The enemy is on the run, but there's no way we could catch up to the entire German army like this. Hold tight at Captain Zero so our reserves can catch up. We're planning further landing operations up north at Salerno and Taranto to cut off the retreating Axis forces. We did it. <laughs> I guess this was the prologue campaign. The second step. We got ourselves an achievement. Well, guys, I think this is where we will end today's episode. It's uh, over 50 minutes long. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, in the next episode, we will start with an actual campaign. Uh, I think it should be fun. I already can see some bugs. It's not as polished as a Total War campaign, um, but it should be fun. Uh, I really like this path that Companies of Heroes is taking. Um, I like that they like to risk it a little bit. Um, Non-linear campaign is a great idea, but we will see how they did it. And if it's worth anything, I'm going to let you know my opinion. Uh, well, take care and see you some other time. As always, bye-bye.